Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be going down the road in a 1970 GTO. Be checking everything out. This is not a judge car. This is a true GTO. It has a 350 under the hood. No powered steering on this one. Drum brakes all the way around. We're going to be taking her down the road. Point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. Check out our detailed pictures, our financing, shipping options, and uh, questions and answers section at maplemotors.com. Should get everything taken care of for you. That way uh, you don't even have to give us a call. You'll know everything about these cars. Definitely watch the walk around. This is the test drive. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Checking out the interior before we leave. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? A little game we like to play on the channel here. Got a big crack in the dash there. You're trying some stuff out. I like the console. It's nice and clean. A little bit of rip there. Ooh, receipts. Those are always good. Back seat's in good shape. Package tray looks decent. Headliner's decent. It does have some little slight little rips there. Could be fixed right now and it won't cause problems later. Go ahead and start this one up. Got the tack in the dash. Let's see if the blower motor will cut on. Blower motor's on, blowing on my feet. It is showing, uh, I can show you the mileage, but I can't stand behind it. This is a 70 model, it's hard to stand behind that. Gas gauge is halfway up. We'll still be stopping. Wipers are working. Oh, that one doesn't look good. Better not do that again. May need a new set of blades on there. Horn? What? What does that mean? Just honk. It's trying so hard. That's a big no though. It's not actually working. Nobody can hear that. <laughs> Let's take off, see how she drives. All right, this is the first time I've driven this ride. I'll go over everything that I see and let you know. That way you know everything about it. I did notice one thing. I didn't see any inner seat belts. They got them on the left side. They don't have them on the right side. So, that may have to be added to the car. We've had it sitting here idling. We're gonna take off now. Hit the road. No power steering on this baby. lets out about halfway and then right at the top it ends. Speedometer's coming up. The car's pulling to the right. When I let go of that steering wheel it goes to the right. Shifter's making a little bit of a vibration noise where it's rubbing up against it. It's coming through the handle there, the old Hurst shifter handle. is working on this one. 
it's showing about a half a tank and it's floating when i get on it it'll float down to a quarter tank come back up to a half i do not believe we're going to need to stop i believe it's working turn signals i don't see any indicators popping up anywhere that doesn't mean they're not working they're just not popping up on the inside here <laughs> I think you like the car. All right. Cruising on around. We're gonna pull in this church parking lot here, get some outside shots. I'm also gonna do a walk around video of this car, point out any kind of flaws. So bear with me guys, I'll get all this information to you. And don't forget about the website. I know I mentioned it a lot. But people don't even know we have it. Kind of blows my mind. <laughs> as many times as I mention it. Y'all say, oh, I get annoying. I have to mention it, guys. Let's get these shots. y'all back in the ride got all my gear over here that's what i used to uh, make these videos look below in the description check that out if you're interested let's take off heading on back to the car a lot now so far so good on this one it's even got air ride in the back for air shocks suspension's nice and smooth Easy to shift. jump up on the highway with this one i'd say you could cruise at 70 with no no problems it's not a real low gear ratio on it so it's more of a driver
made it back around. We're literally right around the corner from the car lot. If you want financing, if you want shipping options, go to maplemotors.com. There's a questions and answers section. I keep pushing that because I want everybody to know it. Um, this next week, we may not do an update on Monday. Don't be worried about it. We're going out of town, Pigeon Forge Rod Run Weekend. It's a huge car show. We go up there every year, twice a year, buy a bunch of cars. Anybody could go there. I recommend checking it out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But we will be closed Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of next week. So if you're trying to call, you probably won't get nobody because nobody's gonna be here. That's why we may not do an update on Monday. Then the following week, there'll be a huge update because we'll have an abundance of cars from both weeks. So it does happen that way. A lot of y'all been calling about the Trans Am. I believe it's already sold. Had a guy pick it up the first day that we posted it and we went ahead and took it off the website. Y'all seen it in the walk around video too. Okay, so we're back to the lot and we're gonna grab another car. Actually, I'm, on a, I'm in the roll, but we're already closed for 20 minutes now, so I guess I need to pack up and go home. I'll have these videos ready for you guys. I appreciate you watching. Please share, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Later, guys.